Welcome back, guys, to Xenoblade Chronicles 3, where last episode we delved into the life of Julieta and Romero once again as the daughter of one of the houses had decided to herself join the Lost Numbers, joining her on a mission that at its completion led to her being disowned by her father, leaving nothing in the way of her love. We then checked on the members of Colony 15 and their life in the city, only to find some dissent among the residents. With Shiner of the Six Houses being acclaimed to have been abducted, we found him training with Torto, who was taken away by conservative lost numbers. As we return to the city to bust him out, ending things for now. There must be more information around the city to check out. That's for certain somewhere, someplace, somehow. Because we've only got parts of information. Some of the things we've got going. Blasadell is too soft on outsiders. She pity them or something. City safety is what should come first. I can see where you're coming from, but I don't think the Colony 15 people will do you any mischief. Probably. They'll disturb the peace at least. They have different values. It will lead to conflict. And by then, it's too late. Maybe it is. No, it's not. Can't, you just got to give them time. It's a culture shock kind of thing. They've lived that horrible military life where they were just born into it. Come on. It'll take a little bit of work to get them to settle in properly. Caught Boomer's performance in the park. The Offseer's flute isn't the only thing that can make sweet music, huh? I had no idea about that until then. But it's a real source of fascination for me. Really glad I came to the city. I mean, sure, maybe it wasn't all plain sailing, but still. So that's the state of affairs. So with the remaining discussion points needing information still that we've got. I'll draw up the rotor for guard duty. I'll have to definitely make sure I find these <laughs> for next session, especially this one. This white fog is uh, All right, everyone. an irritating point. So. Let's go for one of my... Major points at the moment. So this quest here is our main quest, right? We basically have these two quests. Not registered in the Sandbar Hulk. That's level 62. We're not even far from that level to do that. The Battle Scar Hulk is level 58. It's level 60 monsters. These are level 65, right? If we continue on with the main quest, we would do it if I... I can't exactly remember now because it's six hours back in the game. We were... Uh, Going somewhere for Mio before we were going to the actual big destination. So going forward a little bit shouldn't put me into the end phases of chapter six properly, I think. So with that said and done, I think we are going to go that little bit forward because I think, considering the information we got on it, a hero will unlock and more side quests will probably come over in this chapter. So we've probably got locks behind locks. Do you know what I mean? So let's go. That's the Ford anyway. We'll just have to make sure now if it's true or not. <laughs> That and yeah, we do. Uh, we are getting to the point where some of the classes are being learned and we probably do need to get more classes to learn. But let's put it this way. We've played the game for 80 hours. I think I can uh, feel my way through the game a little bit now in terms of what's happening next. It's vital to keep a record of events. But it's essentially two points that are mentioned. And I'm guessing we go there first. Yes? Colony Omega. Here we go. A little bit more main story before we do an absolute crap ton more side press. Because you can tell that we... That we've not really scratched the surface, have we? Though the quality of the quests themselves are, are way cooler. It's a lot more manageable. Nah, I'm alright, love. If it gets as long as Noah's, then I'll think about it. I like 
Fight Uni's hair. Don't get rid of it. What kind of place is this? That was noisy. It's a big bird, that's for sure. So I just pulled it free. No, I mean Lucky Seven. Hmm. Well, seem like it. It's not changed one bit. Well, obviously. Shape just cosmetic. Pardon? People and Ouroboros also not change. Before Paul Free, Mobius' power not affect it either. Right. Hmm. Lucky is simple contraption. What actually matter, Noah? The will of the wielder. If understand, then why ask? Just who are you? Riku, just Riku. Common variety Nopon. And how's a common Nopon get his wings on this? As said, receive from Master Pond to keep safe. Really? What Noah possibly think? Riku mustered up some big fancy lie? <laughs> What Riku say funny? Nah, all good. We'll say I believe you. Meh meh. Riku bothered by that wording. Don't worry. I think I get it now. Oh? Nonetheless, Lucky Seven is something we'll have to cherish as we go on. Riku, thanks a lot. Marvelous. Deft motions with nary a sign of hesitation. The footwork, remarkable. Thee especially. Oh, how gladdened I am to have awoken thee. Miyabi, my most valuable puppet. Guide them forth with thy inimitable melody. These waifs, these immaculate strays. Two for the price of one, eh? Not one, but two. <laughs> that I was not expecting. <laughs> Interestingly enough, it seems like I should probably got that little bit before I uh, continued on and did other quests. Because it... Oh, no, we had... To, this is actually a way around to the Asia region. Ah, oh, cool. So that's why I wanted us to go this way. Beyond here is the Etia region. And it's onwards to the Cloud Keep. This is turned into a proper Ionios trotting adventure. Well, yeah, if we complete the loop. Kamarabi's out there too. And revived. I wonder what's around here. <laughs> That was a massive change of uh, weather system. <laughs> we are at Capricorn Peak. Yeah, if I saw that cutscene earlier, my priorities probably would have changed.
can't even get through that obstacle, Miyabi? Shouldn't have slacked in basic. Twenty laps of the colony, and pick up the pace. <laughs> An Offseer? Really? That's right. But why? I was top of the rankings in all the training categories. It's done. But, sir... Enter. Miyabi. As of now, consider yourselves our official Colony Theta Offseers. But, Commander... Understand. This decision is final. <sighs> so, did you learn the score? Hmm, I guess. So you can play it? More or less. That's so cool! And your part's so much harder than mine as well. I've been trying, but I'm struggling a bit with the start of the twelfth bar. Can we please just drop it? Oh. We play tomorrow. I just want to get it over with. You... You're right, yeah. Sorry. Ah, oh. well then, I'll practice and make sure I've got my part down pat. <sighs> Shall we go, Mia? It's a hero quest. Side story Mio has begun on our main quest. <laughs> okay then. Change of plans. Hey, the main story is to complete the side story of Mio. <laughs> Off we go then. That thing should be a lower level than us, allowing us to explore this don't region pretty well. The outcome is patently clear. This don't one, don't forget the eye patches. Totally everyone's forgot the eye patches, right? Oh, they put their eye patches back on! Now they've decided to! If you can't handle the heat, get the hell out of our way! It's, uh, snowy. Gondor, everyone can handle the heat, because there isn't any. Well, let's make our way down. We used to look up at this place from Colony 9. It looks a lot more inhospitable than I'd imagined. There's two different directions to go in. One is higher level foes. Some of them have uh, question marks awaiting. Interesting.
Hey! Nadia. What's up? Fine tuning? Yeah. Got another battle tomorrow. Bit of a waste, ah. Uh. And you're such a slick fighter, too. Can't believe they paired you with that klutz me Abby. I don't know what the commander was thinking. <laughs> uh, at least you get to take it easy. Low risk of dying when you're in the rear guard. <clears throat> Nadia, we're waiting for you. Mission briefing? Cool, be right there. Later! Guess we live to fight another day? Come on, let's head back. To be fair, we scored some good points today. Tally's next week, was it? This is all such a waste. What is? Everyone else is out collecting life. And here we are, noodling our tunes. What use are we really? To the colony and everyone? I think it's obvious. We can only truly contribute... After death, is all. After death, though. Isn't that just pointless? We could be playing our hearts out here, and nobody'd even see us. Is that right? Sure it is! Mio, is that why you're here? For recognition? Is that why you're being an officer? For a commendation? No, it's just... duty. You know... I'm actually glad I was born a klutz. I bet you're just scared. <sighs> it is scary. Fighting. I am afraid to steal others' lives with my own hands. Actually, I'm impressed that it comes so easy to everyone else. It's just natural. We all of us live to fight. You're wrong. We just have to... We fight to live, that's all. <sighs> Mio, have you ever touched a mote of light from a Kavesi? <sighs> They're the same as ours. On the other side, the people live hoping the same things as us. It's a sad fate. Still, if we're forced to live this way, the least we can do is this. Fly high, ever higher. Goodbye. And thank you.
send on the voices of the departed is an off-seer's purpose. It's not a waste at all. So long as those voices speak to you. Voices? Neo! Niabi! Thanks, guys! Memories. It's amazing after hearing some of these lines so much earlier in the game, right? Better give it a good one. Though. Only now are we getting the full stuff of it. Only now does the story. Get fully covered. I wonder if there's a big named guy on our track here, just because that guy looks bigger than the yeah, that's what I thought. Huh? Is that He definitely looked bigger than the rest. A tough customer. Don't let your guard down for a second. That's some combat waiting for us. <laughs> roly roly. God, that break just nukes your uh, audio too, if you know what I mean. Okay, this guy's got stance effects out the wazoo. Uni just barely hung in there. Where's the topple, guys? We're so spread out. I'm amazed we haven't died earlier. <laughs> But our crits come in, and we get Avalanche Onslaught. During chain attack, increases critical hit damage bonus by 100 dam percent of damage points. I think I should hopefully leave that to later would be preferable, wouldn't it? But then will it appear later? 100%. Unchosen assures self-reactivation in addition to standard number of reactivations. Let's get to work then, shall we? Share some buffs over, see that we're probably not going to quite reach the limit. So uh, we get two reactivated no matter what off this one. Yeah, that critical one's probably a waste. You want more of that? We'll get the damage in and hope we get into a good state. Her rope chain is not bad after all. I don't think 
our foes are really in the blocking mode. Exactly, but... Huh, can I hope that someone doesn't over-aggro? Don't get too much DP here, mister. There's Senna topped up. And that will be a bravo, right? <laughs> There's not much damage being done, though, however, at this point. A heroic chain keeps coming off. Right. Got another one after this. I would love to get power charge, actually. I should probably go with you next on the next turn. Not a bad idea, I'd imagine. At the moment, we're just letting Gondor fight a lot. I don't know what's the best hit here. Damage-wise. One of those hits then got blocked, didn't it? So it's either lands or you. <laughs> lands or you, Mio. I guess I'll be going with you again here. Uni. Everyone's healed up quite nicely after all. Wait, what? When was there a bunnet that just got killed? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Poor bunnet. That but it does not deserve to die in that fashion. Oh well. Get him with them all, I guess. We're not gonna take it out in one blow, which is always worrying, of course. Best hit to do is you, if I'm right in saying. Yep, that was a big hit. So we're going to have a struggle. to finish that last bit of HP. Everyone's dying. No. Mio! Okay, it's both of our healers are out now. We actually lost. We're so close as well. You can see its HP just dropping bit by bit. Do 
It's just these two left. How are these two alive still? How are we still alive? Oh my god! Lance has an ether block and heal. Lance can heal himself through that fight. That's crazy that Lance could out heal the damage. Wow, I'm honored. I just didn't think I didn't think he'd be able to survive that. But Lance could actually heal himself. Well, Lance, that was a miracle. Congratulations on winning us that fight. I take it I got- did I get the soul hack or not? Do I have to have, like, the soul hacker alive to get that? I don't think I got it, did I? Well, that's a bit of a shame. Oh well. I think you got it. Well, I obviously didn't pay attention. Miraculous. <laughs> This is the West Roof, right? And you say we'll find Colony Omega here? Yeah. The colony I was at with me, Abby. By that point, I guess, we had enough uh, gained kind of damage from certain skills that Tyon has on him as well that he could actually do the <gasps> DPS. Is that... To whittle it down from there. This oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That was close. <laughs> I know he thought about running away at one point, but for some reason I just decided to stick. Knowledge can never trump experience. Does it say if it's hacked or not on a grave? Miraculous victory. <laughs> Yeah, especially because this is a one-on-one. -on -one. How was this guy supposed to survive when he's being beaten up by a ton of bunnets? Poor guy never stood a chance. I guess I should try to figure out then if I actually did get the win with that or not. <laughs> Chronological? Oh yeah, see, oh, it's, that's why he said Grace of the Land is a skill, yeah. Reduce the damage taken by allies in a fixed radius by 20%. It's actually pretty cool! Boost amount of HP healed from using healing else by 20% we've got today as well. And applies target lock to all enemies upon own revival. Has cooldown. I was the MVP. Those are things we've got today. 